Have you ever considered how one copes with the profound loss of a loved one while staying motivated? Loss is a reality we all face at some point in our lives. It's a universal experience that binds us, a stark reminder of our shared humanity. It can feel like a sudden plunge into an ocean of grief and despair, a storm that threatens to upend the calm waters of our existence. In the face of such adversity it's natural to feel overwhelmed. The world may seem colorless, our dreams distant, our hopes shattered. Yet it's during these trying times that we discover the strength within us, the resilience to keep going, the motivation to continue striving. This resilience is not a rare gift bestowed upon the few. It is an intrinsic part of our human nature, a testament to our ability to adapt, to overcome, to heal. Loss is a universal experience, but so is the human spirit's capacity to endure and thrive. Let's dive a bit deeper into Clara's journey and the impact of the support group she formed. As Clara started her support group, she was unsure of what to expect. She was stepping into uncharted territory, driven by her own pain and the desire to help others. The first few meetings were small, with just a handful of people who, like Clara, were trying to navigate their grief. But as word spread, the group started to grow. People from all walks of life, each carrying their own stories of loss, started to attend. The support group became a safe space for them, a place where they could share their stories without judgment, where they could cry without fear of being seen as weak. The group was a place where they could find comfort in shared grief, where they could help each other navigate their journey of healing. It was a place where they could remember their lost loved ones, sharing memories and stories, laughing and crying together. This wasn't just about mourning, it was about healing. The group members began to find strength in their shared experiences. They found comfort in knowing they were not alone in their grief. They found hope in the stories of resilience and recovery. They found a sense of community and belonging that helped them to feel less alone, less lost. Clara's support group became a beacon of hope for many, a testament to the power of community and shared experience in the face of loss. It was the beginning of a journey of healing for many, a journey that was, in many ways, made possible by Clara's own journey of resilience. Clara's support group is a testament to the power of shared experiences and the strength that can be found in community. It's a reminder that even in our darkest moments, we are not alone. Grief can be overwhelming, but as Clara's story showed us, hope and resilience can light the path forward. Hope and resilience are not just buzzwords, they are the lifelines that pull us from the depths of despair. They are the whispers in our hearts that say, yes you can, yes you will, yes you are enough. In the face of loss, hope gives us the strength to envision a future beyond our pain. It allows us to believe that, in time, we can find joy again, we can laugh again, and we can love again. On the other hand, resilience is our capacity to endure, to adapt, to grow. It is the courage to face our grief head-on, to honor our loved ones by living our lives fully and making a difference in the lives of others. Remember, it's okay to grieve, it's okay to feel, but let hope and resilience be your guide through the storm. Resilience does not mean forgetting, but remembering with love and moving forward with hope. Staying motivated after a loss is not an easy journey, but it is one that we are all capable of. It's a truth we've delved into today, that dealing with loss is a universal experience, one that can shake us to our core, yet it's also a journey that can be marked by resilience. We've seen how individuals can rise from the ashes, not by forgetting, but by cherishing memories while still looking forward. We've talked about the power of hope, how it can be a beacon in our darkest times guiding us towards a future where we can still find joy, purpose, and fulfillment. We've also emphasized the importance of seeking support, of reaching out to others, of sharing our stories and listening to those who have treaded the same path. Remember it's not about moving on, but moving forward. And with hope and resilience we can do just that.